Hi YouTube, I hope you're doing good. I'm doing okay. Not too bad today. I was um, down at the end of my driveway playing in the water. There's a natural spring down there and um, I was actually um, diverting the water to go down into the creek. So, um, yeah, we're, we're getting some more fill, but it's, um, full of water right now. We've got so much rock and fill and building up our road. It's always wet. Every spring never fails. Um, what's on my mind today is more of the same from yesterday. Yep. I was thinking, people, you don't even have to have God in your heart in order to be ethical. You know, these people that are making money off of other people's um, misery. That's, that's my point today is we don't even have to acknowledge God. Well, I will, but they don't even have to acknowledge God in order to do the right thing for other people. You know, so... That's sort of what's on my mind today. I'm not really doing too much. Well, I sort of, I might later. I did a lot of stuff yesterday, so I was going to show you. Um, I found a good shampoo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, it's a suave one Doug got for me. Uh, rosemary mint and it's pretty good and it doesn't have any parabens or sulfates or other stuff in there so yeah it's still I mean because it's a lot of hair it's still hard to comb through especially when it's wet and it's my waves are more curly then so but yeah it takes a little bit of work but yeah found one. I was going to get the green apple kind. Now I'm talking about shampoos, but they didn't have any, so Doug decided to let me try this one, and I usually would get more expensive. Even uh, the Mayo Clinic has hypoallergenic shampoos that I was buying for big bucks, even like two of them, and they were like... Uh, $17 a piece for, I think they were 10 ounce or 12 ounce, 12 ounce bottles, I do believe, maybe 10. They were pretty small. They were only about that big around and about mm, eight inches tall, maybe somewhere in there. And that was kind of pretty much garbage for a, a world renowned lab. They didn't do my hair justice like um, some other ones. And like I was telling you about some conditioner um, that I was using that was made by a guy named Anna's dad or Anna's dad. Um, yeah, so money doesn't always mean you have the top of the line care with any given thing, you know. It's just like uh, if you, I went to chef school, so if you go out to eat and you think you're going to like a five-star restaurant or whatever, you may not get the same quality of a meal that you could from somebody just out in a little corner of the world somewhere. You never know who does what, where, you know. Or like I could sew you up if you got ripped open. I mean, lucky if some of us have skills to do things, you know. Cheers. Like working on cars and whatever it takes. So, yeah, I was really happy last night. My hair felt so good all night. It's like, oh, it feels soft. Oh, oh, yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, these um, doctors and psychiatrists, we all know that most of them are unethical. It's just like uh, Dr. Sean Baker or Sean Baker, MD. He'll talk about people's uh, blood, blood sugar and um, 
cholesterol and different things you can do besides going in with the, the mainstream regime is to throw drugs at you. And he's not, he's not with that at all. He's, he's about as far away from mainstream as you can get. He loves annihilating people's stupidity because um, he's a good doctor. He's not going to just go along with what any, anybody says for money. And he has riches because of that. Because he's a good person. So, and he won't lose it, not like some of these creatures will. That... I mean, um, their names will be out there. The people that have gone against human beings, their names will be remembered forever by us and our offsprings. And we'll make sure of that. Look, it's all documented. Their stupidity is effing documented out here on the web, you know, on a daily basis. Like... I see guys there out there, I'm king of the world, screaming like that. And I'm like, wow, you just actually put that on a recording that's going to be there forever. Imagine that, you know. Wow, stupid. I'm sure he'll have like a grandchild somewhere down the line saying when he's um, bedridden, and his legs are all swelled up with neuropathy or whatever. I'm just giving you a scenario. He'll have a grandchild say, But Grandpa, I thought you were king of the world. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I am not sure how long that video took to upload yesterday, but it took a heck of a long time. I think it finally got up there about 7 o'clock or something. It really actually took well over six hours anyway altogether. It's just no reason for it, you know. Don't we have top-of-the-line high-speed internet in this world? Isn't it supposed to be 5G? I don't think it's anything's changed at all, <laughs> you know. It's supposed to be faster and what? It's worse than it ever was. This is my thoughts on that. That the problems that we're all having isn't EMP stuff. Knowing software and uh, networks like I do, um, I'd say it's more, more that they're bringing their software up to speed before they turn on the system that they're going to turn on. And so they're implementing their little programs here and there um, through everybody's service. So when they get ready to really fry people's minds with frequencies, um, they'll have all the software instilled, the programs that can be used against you for the following generations. It's just going to get worse. Not that the speed of everything's going to get worse. It's just what they're going to be able to do with it all. That's what I'm thinking. So, yeah. But it's a pretty wonderful day. It was o over 40 degrees when I went out there. So, well above freezing. It was a little nippy when I got out in the middle of the yard away from the trees and that. The wind, I guess, um, let me see, will be either tomorrow or the next day. They were saying it's going to be like super windy, like um, 40 mile an hour gusts of wind in that. So with snow still on the ground, it is melting, but it's still cold out there. So it's going to be just freezing with the wind temperature, you know. So anyway, I wasn't doing a hair commercial, but I could. <laughs> no, I'm not selling any products. That's, you know, Doug was talking about there's a woman, I think she's from Australia, and she was putting out a lot of really good information about herbal 
medicine and different things. And then all of a sudden, she's um, selling products and they you she wants you to buy her book. And that's why I came against people like... Um, um, Derek Bros, because when you just, I was talking about parasites, you just don't say one thing and just brush on a subject. You go into it thoroughly, not what you're going to do, but what you're going to do about it. Because if you're just talking about, okay, so you have your own experience in that area. How deeply has a person looked into microbiology before they're actually going to talk about it? And yes, there's the mind parasite that's connected. Now, spiritually, he knows what's up. I'm not saying that he's he's void of it. I'm just saying he was going to dole it out to people in increments, and I don't like that at all. You tell the people everything right away, right away. In one video, not just, you know, you can talk about it more than one time and not, and don't stop talking about it, you know, but to, to do like they do with everything, these people doling out, oh, I'll be back, I have some great information to share with you on, off their playlist of what they're gonna, out of their script. You know, so and that is what that is. So if people have to worry about making money off of other people and they don't have faith enough in God that they're going to be okay no matter what they choose to do, as long as it's ethical, if you don't have faith that your creator that put you here is going to make sure you're okay if you make the right decisions, then you are worth less as a human being. You will not be on this planet for other people. You're only here for yourself. And you don't deserve to be here. Hence, you do not deserve to be here with that attitude at all. It isn't just one person's world exclusively, unless your name is God. And no other human being has the right to rule over any of us or think that you have the ability to go above what's in another person's mind or heart because you don't. Just, you you are not special. There's millions of people out there that are flipping brilliant that don't uh, bend other people over with their brilliance. You know, I think you got my drift on that. Like, gee, I can do this to you, and I can make money doing it, and then laugh in our face the whole time they're doing it. You know. So ultimately, you're really not helping people. You're just doling things out in increments. Like the Hegelian dialect, problem, action, solution. Yeah, well, we know that the parasites are the problem because every single disease on this planet stems from the syphilis worm, the same identical encephalitis that went like into, uh, um, was it Sigmund Freud or wait, no. Einstein had encephalitis, and there's a lot of great minds that knew that these bugs were all related to the same thing, and there's different variations of it, and that's what the dark cabal uses as a force against you, whether you think you're being used or not. You have to understand that when you're sick, you don't realize, you do not realize that. And it's all true when I'm saying my my science is sound. So anyway, and it's provable. It's provable with logic and and reason, 
and not this not this um, pseudoscience bullshit that you're pulling out of wherever. But um, actual proven um, proven sciences in different areas that I'm speaking from experience, not just um, I'm not just saying well. I can prove what I'm talking about is what I'm saying. With the parasites and they're doling out whatever their craft is, um, whether they're spiritualists or religious. And if you're good at what you do and you're an ethical person, I am not talking to you. I'm talking to the unethical ones that don't love other people. So those are the ones that I'm going to stop them. And I need other people's help to stop them, too. No matter where you confront them, let them know that there's people like you and I out here that don't take too kindly to other people that really don't care. And they don't belong on this planet. That's a fact. So I'm going to get this uploaded because, like, yesterday's was really horrendous, so... And the day before, day before, I think Doug's talking to our service right now, but it's been pretty funky. So um, I hope everybody has a really good night or day wherever you're at. And I really need everybody to understand that every sickness in the world is connected to one thing. And the dark force uses that against everybody in different areas in our life, mentally, physically, with our food, our air, everything. And although you know that, you need to understand what is called like the mind control bug, that Satanist bug that is in you is a combination of these bacterium inside you working in tandem. They work in tandem, the dark force and the dark control on this planet, they don't have a problem working together. It's the good people that weren't aware that this was being used against us. We're the ones that need to combine. Um, and we're not going to hurt each other. We're not out here out of hatred or money or anything else. We're out here because we actually care about people. So, all right, everybody. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace. And love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.